fifty grand, but it might have been, to be honest. Speaking of uh, passing quickly, it's a little bit delicate uh, subject, but you know, in the NFL, there's been the death of two players in the last mm. week, week or two. Now, I sort of try and sort of read a, a fair bit of stuff on the American sports sites yep. and newspapers, and both of those horrible incidents got dealt with and dealt with reasonably quickly and didn't feature at all in any media that I read in the past nearly a week. Yeah. What is it with the sports media in America? I mean, there's stuff like that happening here. It would be going on for weeks and weeks and weeks. I know these are extraordinary events. I'm not undermining the the impact that those events have. No, you're right. But they get dealt with. Very quickly and very seriously. You're right. And then they sort of move on. Maybe just big country, maybe. I'll give you a theory, Doc. You tell me. You've been in media much longer than I have and much more of an expert. Do you think that because in America they're much more open and there's much more dialogue? And so as a consequence, you have this issue and they open up and say, I'm going to stand up here for half an hour for an hour. You guys ask me as many questions you want and let's just let's work all this out and let's get through it and I'll give you all the information. So many AFL events in the past two or three years. You think if you just come out and said what you did wrong, fessed up, moved on, it would be – you'd kill them. If you're honest and open, you kill – the media beast yeah. that wants to keep eating itself all week or all month. That's Agreed. A, that's a very good point. I'll it, give you all the dirt now. Yeah. It'll be in, in, in tomorrow's newspapers for two days or three days, and then it's done because you've got nothing mm. else to report. Did you see the coach from Winthrop, by the way, who basketball college that played Ohio State, and uh, afterward he gave his little media speech, and you know, the small school playing a big school national platform, and he came back and said, hey, I got one more thing, and they went to this big impromptu lecture about how he's got two daughters, and, and he's going to go home to them, where those people in Connecticut aren't going to be able to go home to their kids, and he said, look, I'm not a smart guy, I don't know how to figure this whole thing out, but this country has a problem, it needs to get solved, people need to start talking to each other. It was, un- it was one of the most amazing <laughs> things I've ever seen from a, from a college basketball coach. And the talking head shows in America praised him for showing the perspective that normally they're criticising coaches for not having living in a bubble, which is yeah, interesting. Because true. I think if a coach went uh, off, off microphone like that in Australia on, on his own message, they would get whacked for not sticking to the sports side of it, mm. whereas in America, praise for uh, perhaps seeing the bigger picture. I was really pleased to see him do that, and I agree, Tay, I was pleased to see people not say, ah, don't bring politics into it and all that. Things like that, I think you can bring politics in. Off the SMS, uh, Sean in Mill Park says, Steve Nash, what a game changer today, and hopefully for the rest of the season. A surprise early Christmas gift. He wasn't expected to be back a key. until yeah. Christmas, and he helped the Lakers to that overtime win today. He'd be one, he'd be one to be ready for the uh, the new year, and, and yeah, it's great great for Laker fans, it without is. a doubt. I didn't, I didn't say today's game, but I didn't either. I'm really looking forward to seeing their chemistry with Nash on the uh, Should on the make court. a big difference. He really should. Yeah. Greg from West Meadows says, if Atlanta plays Houston, it would be the first Super Bowl uh, pair of virgins, his term, since St. Right. Louis versus Tennessee in 2000. Good, it would good, be good. two first-time Super Bowl Yeah, games. well, Greg, is no, Greg knows his American sport, and that is a very, very good point. And, Al, I wanted to ask you, um, in the context of all the big money moves in the Major League Baseball recently, what's it done? And, Ed, um, other than uh, Josh Hamilton and seemingly this huge money on the West Coast, normally it's the Yankees that are spending, but yeah. what does this mean for Major League Baseball, some of the money and some of the big contracts and trades that are going around at the moment? Well, the one I'd look at is the Blue Jays, to be honest, because that American League East already had the Yankees' biggest spending team in baseball, the Rays, who've been very, very good, the Orioles, who had a great year last year, the Red Sox, who had a terrible year but spend a lot of money. And now the Blue Jays could be the favorite, adding Dickey and Burley and Josh Johnson and Jose Reyes and uh, Melky Cabrera. I mean, they've added an unbelievable array of stars to that Blue Jay team. That's an incredible division all of a sudden. They won the World Series, did they not, a number Back of in years the ago? And 80s it was. 80s or 90s? Yeah, it was yeah. The, the most unpopular World Series. Joe Carter. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, not in uh, Canada. <laughs> no, yeah, the, the exactly. Mo- Given there's only one team in Canada, <laughs> this might be the uh, the most wide open market I've seen in a very long time. So this is for the uh, MLB World Series in 2013. The Angels are fa- equal favourites at nine dollars. The Nationals nine dollars. The Dodgers nine dollars fifty. Detroit at ten dollars. The Blue Jays at ten dollars. The Rangers at eleven dollars. The Reds twelve dollars. The Yankees thirteen dollars. The Giants, $15. The Braves, 19 Red Sox, 
19, Phillies 19, and then you go $21, the Cardinals and the um, and Tampa Bay, and uh, and everyone else is greater than $21. So why not? It's going to be A-Rod fascinating. Going? A-Rod's got the injury. I yeah, think the, he's got a rehab, ankle or whatever so we'll have to see what happens. Has I think he'll be back. I mean, we'll see. How, how big a factor <clears> with the <throat> close... Um, uh, end to the regular season have had in evening out the market like that as well, given so many teams were still in the mix right up to the final week of the season. And to have a whitewash in the World Series was a total shock, yeah. given how close the regular season it's was. It's going to be fascinating. I think that, that is the one thing about baseball with these crazy moves is that uh, it just creates interest. I mean, you know, suddenly Toronto is a favorite again. You know, the Angels are just loaded with that outfield. I mean, I, I think you're. I think the, this is a case of where free agency, as absurd as it sounds, can really interest enhance your product. Just before we go, I'll give you a couple of marks on the NBA games for tomorrow. Philly are playing at Brooklyn. Philly $2.90. Brooklyn $1.42. The line is five and a half. And Dallas play at San Antonio. Dallas $6.30. San Antonio, as you'd expect at home, short price favourites at $1.12. The line is 11 points. Anyone picked up Kenny Powers? Uh, don't think so yet. He's still kicking around somewhere. <laughs> Great <laughs> series, by the way. Oh, Gentlemen. That's hot. It is horrible. It's so wrong, isn't it? It is so wrong. I'm embarrassed to say how much I enjoy it. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, and thanks to our callers Thank and you. SMSs. Uh, gents, uh, you've all won a Pataki ham, says one of our SMSs. Uh, <laughs> SEN tradition. Uh, of course, uh, this has been BetStars and Stripes. Take BetStar on at betstar.com.au. Double fixed odds, uh, rumours are swirling that they will be back for a race on Boxing Day. Check out the BetStar mm. website tomorrow for details and don't forget live betting during the Boxing Day test over the phone. Call 1300 BetStar to get the best live odds in this summer of cricket. Gentlemen, uh, 8 p.m. next Sunday night. Looking forward to seeing Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all, yeah, of our, uh, all of our listeners. Happy holidays, whatever you say. Do yep. the right thing on the roads, gang. Correct. See you next week. Thank you, guys.